Hello everyone. Today is an incredibly sad day for me. I mean, I've, I'm so torn up, I can't even tell you. I'm just trying to hold it in because everything about it, because it's, it, it's, and I was so fortunate to be part of his life. What's going on with Sylvester Stallone? We will reveal shocking footage in today's video. But first we need to know, how did Sylvester Stallone's personal struggles and triumphs shape the iconic characters he created? And what can his journey teach us about the balance between personal sacrifice and achieving professional success? Loner, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, expressive, really loud, right. outgoing, and without a doubt. Sylvester Stallone is a famous actor, best known for playing Rocky Balboa in the Rocky movies and John Rambo in the Rambo series. These movies were incredibly successful and made Stallone a Hollywood legend. However, while many people admire his success, Stallone's life hasn't always been easy. In fact, he has faced many challenges since the day he was born. Keep watching to learn more about Stallone's struggles and what the 73-year-old actor has gone through. Sylvester Stallone's life has been more tragic than most people think. His famous tough guy look and sometimes hard to understand speech aren't just part of his persona. They come from a difficult start in life. When he was born, a doctor accidentally damaged a facial nerve, leaving his lower lip drooping and part of his tongue and chin paralyzed. This caused his unique voice and appearance, but Stallone has handled it with humor and strength. At the Cannes Film Festival, Stallone joked about how his speech made it hard for him to get acting jobs early on. Directors often couldn't understand him, and even fellow action star Arnold Schwarzenegger once commented on his accent. Stallone laughed about it, suggesting they should start a school to teach speech lessons together. In the mid-1970s, Sylvester Stallone was a struggling actor living in near poverty. His big break came when he wrote Rocky, a script about an underdog boxer given a shot at the world heavyweight title. Despite having no money, Stallone refused to sell the script unless he could star in the lead role. Producers wanted established actors like Robert Redford or Burt Reynolds, but Stallone stood his ground, even as financial struggles mounted. Ultimately, the producers agreed, and Rocky was made on a modest budget. Released in 1976, the film became an instant hit, grossing over $225 million worldwide and winning three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Stallone was catapulted to fame, earning nominations for both acting and screenwriting. Rocky wasn't just a story about boxing, it became a cultural symbol of perseverance, inspiring countless fans and solidifying Stallone as a force in Hollywood. The success of Rocky not only established Stallone's career, but also ushered in a new era of sports and action dramas, changing the Hollywood landscape. His determination to control his own destiny through Rocky mirrors the perseverance of the character he created, a true reflection of his journey to stardom. Stallone's childhood was also tough. He felt out of place because of his facial injury and once said he wished he could be anyone but himself. He dealt with health issues like rickets and severe bullying, his relationship with his father was abusive, and he said his mother only showed him affection twice during his entire childhood. To cope, Stallone often acted out in dangerous ways, like swatting flies off cars with a lead pipe. Stallone's story is one of perseverance, and despite all his struggles, he became one of the most iconic actors in Hollywood history. When Sylvester Stallone was a child, he was known for being wild and adventurous, sometimes getting into serious trouble. He once chopped up a Santa Claus figure at his house and even did dangerous stunts like firing arrows from a classroom window and jumping off a roof with an umbrella, which resulted in a broken arm. By the time he was 12, he had been kicked out of 13 schools and broken 11 bones because of his risky behavior. However, when Stallone turned 15, he found a positive way to use his energy by getting into bodybuilding. Before he became famous with Rocky, 
Stallone struggled to make a living. He had to sleep in the Port Authority bus station in New York because he couldn't find steady acting jobs. One of his acting roles even left him with frostbite when another actor accidentally sprayed him with a fire extinguisher during a play. To survive, Stallone worked odd jobs, including cleaning lion cages at the Central Park Zoo, where he was once urinated on by a lion. In a desperate move, Stallone starred in a softcore adult film called Party at Kitty and Studs for $200, just to escape sleeping at the bus station. After his success with Rocky, the producers offered to sell him the film's rights for $100,000 to stop its release, but Stallone refused, saying he wouldn't even buy it for $2. He admitted that when you're struggling, you sometimes do things you wouldn't normally do, joking that he had hoped the film would be seen as art at the time. During the filming of Rocky IV in 1985, Stallone had a near-death experience when Dolph Lundgren, who played the villain, hit him so hard it almost ended his life. At first, Stallone disliked Lundgren because of his perfect appearance and skills, but this tension made their on-screen rivalry even better. Looking back, Stallone shared this story at the Cannes Film Festival, saying the intense moment made their performance more real. During the filming of Rocky IV, Sylvester Stallone had a close call with death due to a punch from Dolph Lundgren. The punches were so powerful that they became a serious threat. Stallone recounted, He hit me so hard, he almost stopped my heart. Stallone had suggested to Lundgren, Why don't we just go for it? Try to knock me out, give it all you've got. The result? Stallone ended up on a medical plane headed to the emergency room, where he spent four days in intensive care, surrounded by nuns. Stallone shared this story in a 1985 interview with People magazine, explaining that the incident happened during filming in Wyoming. Before Lundgren's punch, Stallone already sensed something was wrong. He described the punch as feeling like being hit by a runaway streetcar named Drago. Despite this scary experience, Stallone and Lundgren became good friends. Lundgren later admitted he was impressed by Stallone's ability to fight. I was surprised at how well Sly could fight. I fought for real and had to learn to fake it. He was incredibly dedicated, Lundgren told Page Six. This incident ultimately strengthened their bond. Sylvester Stallone also faced personal challenges when his son, Sergio Stallone, was diagnosed with autism. Back then, research and funding for autism were limited, making it hard for Stallone and his wife, Sasha Jack, to cope. In a 1985 interview with People magazine, they opened up about how they dealt with their son's conditions separately. Jack took on most of the caregiving, while Stallone focused on his career and used events like movie premieres to raise awareness and money for autism research. Stallone spoke emotionally about how difficult it was to connect with his son. There's no typical father and son dynamic here, I have to be his playmate, Stallone shared. He explained that with a child like Sergio, a parent must set aside their ego and follow the child's lead, rather than imposing their own world on them. Sylvester Stallone faced many challenges with his son, Sergio, who was diagnosed with autism. Communication was difficult, as Sergio needed repeated instructions to learn. Even though he had a good memory, it was hard for him to use what he learned. Stallone made great efforts to help Sergio, even building a special nature-inspired playground in their yard to create a peaceful environment. He admitted that while he was very close to his older son, Sage, he was just as committed to supporting Sergio with love and patience, despite the difficulties. Tragically, Stallone's eldest son, Sage, passed away at the age of 36 in July 2012. Sage died of a heart condition called atherosclerosis, where cholesterol and fat block the arteries, leading to a fatal heart attack. After his death, there were false rumors about drug use, but it was later confirmed that Sage only had Tylenol in his system. Sage had a bright future and appeared in some of his father's films, 
including Rocky V and Daylight. At the time of his death, he was engaged to be married. Stallone expressed his deep grief, saying, when a parent loses a child, there is no greater pain. In addition to C.R. Joe, Stallone's daughter, Sophia, also faced health challenges. Born in 1996, Sophia was born with a heart valve problem, requiring surgery when she was just two months old, and again in 2012. When Sophia was 16, before her second surgery, she talked to Paris Match magazine about living with her heart condition. She said, every day I think about my heart. I eat very healthy, and because I get tired more easily than others, I have to be careful when I do sports. I need surgery again because the tissue they put in my heart 16 years ago has stretched, which is causing problems. In 2023, during an episode of the Family Stallone reality show, Sophia looked back at this tough time. She said learning she needed surgery was one of the most important moments of her life. I never thought about death before, she said. She also talked about how hard it was for her family, especially her dad. Dad couldn't talk to me without crying. Today, Sophia is doing well. She co-hosts a podcast with her sister, Sistine Stallone, and runs a book club on Instagram. Despite her health issues, she lives an active and happy life. Sylvester Stallone also had a difficult relationship with his half-sister, Tony Ann Filiti. They reportedly reached a settlement where Stallone agreed to pay her a large amount of money, though he denied doing anything wrong. Filiti had accused him of causing her personal harm. Sadly, she passed away from lung cancer in 2012. Stallone has also experienced heartache with pets. In 2013, his family's dog Phoebe was killed by a coyote. The family was heartbroken, and they had even offered a reward to find her. This wasn't the first time Stallone faced sadness with a pet. Before he became famous, he had to sell his dog, Butkus, because he couldn't afford to keep him. After selling the script for Rocky, Stallone worked hard to get Butkus back from the buyer and eventually succeeded. Sure, here's a detailed 1,200-word version of the information. Sylvester Stallone's half-brother's tragic attack. In 2016, Sylvester Stallone's family was rocked by a deeply distressing event involving his half-brother, Dante Stallone. Dante, who was just 19 years old at the time, was a student at Florida State University. On a seemingly ordinary night, Dante went out for a late-night run to Taco Bell. Tragically, this routine outing turned into a nightmare when he was brutally attacked near the university campus. The assault left Dante with severe injuries that included a shattered jaw, a split palate, and several knocked-out teeth. The attack was not only physically devastating but emotionally traumatic for the Stallone family. Sylvester Stallone, known for his tough-guy roles and resilient persona on screen, was deeply shaken by the incident. In a statement given to TMZ, Stallone expressed his profound sorrow and frustration. He described Dante as a wonderful young man and a straight-A student who had never been in trouble. Stallone's words highlighted the tragedy of the situation, emphasizing how Dante's innocence and character made the attack all the more heartbreaking. Frank Stallone Jr., Dante's brother, also shared the devastating news on social media. He revealed that Dante would need reconstructive surgery to repair the extensive damage caused by the attack. Frank's post conveyed the gravity of the situation and sought support from friends and family. He thanked everyone for their thoughts and kind words, underscoring the emotional toll the incident had taken on the family. Despite the severity of the injuries, there was a glimmer of hope in the situation. Dante's recovery, while challenging, has been nothing short of remarkable. By August 2023, Frank Stallone Jr. provided an uplifting update on Instagram. He posted a photo of Dante, showing his impressive progress in weightlifting. Frank highlighted that Dante had made significant strides in his physical recovery, noting that he was now benching 365 pounds 
and working on getting into even better shape. This positive update was a testament to Dante's resilience and determination, as well as the support and love from his family and friends. Stepdad Drama for Sylvester Stallone In August 2019, Sylvester Stallone found himself entangled in a different kind of drama involving his stepfather, Dr. Stephen M. Levine. Levine, a neurosurgeon, was accused of serious crimes related to healthcare fraud. The allegations were severe. Levine and others were accused of embezzling nearly $58 million in federal funds between 2013 and 2016. The scheme allegedly involved referring patients to unnecessary home health care services in exchange for financial kickbacks. The accusations against Levine were compounded by his controversial past. In 1998, Levine had faced accusations of administering a lethal dose of painkillers to his first wife, resulting in her death. Levine had lost his medical license for six months after pleading guilty to involuntary manslaughter. This troubling history made the new allegations even more scandalous. When questioned about the healthcare fraud allegations, Levine chose not to comment. However, his wife, Jackie Stallone, Sylvester's 97-year-old mother, came to his defense. Jackie claimed that there must be a mistake, trying to protect her husband from the accusations. Despite her defense, reports emerged suggesting that Levine had admitted to the fraudulent scheme as part of a plea agreement. He faced the possibility of a lengthy prison sentence if he did not cooperate with authorities and provide information about his co-defendants. The legal troubles surrounding Levine cast a shadow over Stallone's family, highlighting a tumultuous period that contrasted sharply with Stallone's otherwise celebrated public image. The situation added another layer of complexity to Stallone's personal life, showing that even the most iconic figures can face challenging and often public struggles. Stallone's feelings about the Rocky franchise. Sylvester, Stallone's relationship with the Rocky franchise is both a story of incredible success and personal frustration. Stallone, who wrote and starred in the original Rocky film, achieved massive financial success and worldwide recognition from the franchise. However, Stallone has expressed feelings of being unfairly treated in the financial dealings related to the franchise. The original Rocky film, released in 1976, was a major breakthrough for Stallone. He received approximately $2.5 million for the film, which was a substantial amount at the time. Additionally, Stallone earned $25,000 for writing the screenplay and $360 per week for the 25-day shoot. While these numbers reflect significant earnings, Stallone has openly stated that he feels he was shortchanged despite the film's success. Stallone's dissatisfaction stems from the fact that he does not own the rights to the Rocky character or the franchise. This lack of ownership has led him to feel that he was not adequately compensated for the enormous success and cultural impact of the films. Despite the substantial sums he earned, Stallone's frustration highlights the often complex and sometimes unfair financial dynamics that can exist in the entertainment industry. The Rocky franchise has been a cornerstone of Stallone's career, helping to establish him as a major Hollywood star. The character of Rocky Balboa, with his underdog story and relentless spirit, has become an enduring symbol of perseverance and determination. However, Stallone's feelings of being robbed of his due compensation show that even with such success, there can be underlying issues of fairness and recognition in the business side of showbiz. Sylvester Stallone's life has been marked by both triumphs and challenges. From the tragic attack on his half-brother Dante, to the legal troubles involving his stepfather, and his frustrations with the financial aspects of the Rocky franchise, Stallone's personal and professional life has been anything but straightforward. Despite these hurdles, Stallone's legacy as an iconic actor and filmmaker remains strong. His perseverance through personal hardships and his significant contributions to film and popular culture underscore his enduring impact on Hollywood and beyond. 
Thanks to the Writers Guild of America rules, Sylvester Stallone's acting pay for Rocky was about $2,000. Most of his earnings came from a share of the film's profits. For Rocky II in 1979, Stallone made $775,000. And for Rocky III in 1982, he earned $120,000 plus millions more from his share of the profits. Even with these big paydays, Stallone thinks he could have made more. He said he had no ownership of Rocky because his lawyer told him no one gets a stake in franchises and he didn't pursue it further. By the time Rocky Balboa came around in 2006, Stallone felt weak and had even been dropped by his agent. A Rocky producer told Variety that Stallone made money from many sources and still does. Stallone agreed that the franchise's financial setup supports his family but still feels betrayed. He described Hollywood as a place where people stab you in the back. While filming The Expendables, Stallone faced a life-threatening situation. He broke his neck during a stunt with Stone Cold Steve Austin and needed surgery, which included a permanent metal plate in his neck. In the 2023 Netflix documentary Sly, Stallone admitted he never fully recovered from the injury and has felt different ever since. He questioned whether the dangerous stunts were worth the risk and if he was seeking approval, like a child looking for praise. Stallone kept the severity of the injury private until promoting the film in 2010. He described the tough filming conditions for The Expendables, where everyone was pushed to their limits and even the stunt performers were struggling. Stallone's love life has had ups and downs. He married his first wife, Sasha Chack, in 1974, and their marriage lasted until 1985. After that, he married model Bridget Nielsen, but their marriage ended in divorce after two years. Stallone found lasting love with Jennifer Flavin, whom he married in 1997. Lessons from love, family, and career. Sylvester Stallone, known for his iconic roles as Rocky Balboa and John Rambo, is more than just a Hollywood action star. His journey through life is a rich tapestry of triumphs, challenges, and personal revelations. Despite the glamorous image of his career, Stallone's life behind the scenes has been marked by significant personal struggles, particularly in his relationships with family and the sacrifices he made for his career. The Struggle and Reconciliation In August 2022, Stallone and his wife Jennifer Flavin faced a serious challenge in their marriage that nearly led to a separation. For a couple known for their seemingly perfect relationship, this period was particularly tumultuous. The couple had to navigate through a rough patch, one that tested their commitment and resilience. Their journey through this rough period culminated in a reconciliation the following month. Reflecting on this challenging time, Stallone spoke candidly about the impact it had on him. In an interview with The Times, Stallone admitted that the experience was a wake-up call. It forced him to reassess what truly mattered in his life. He realized that his love for his family was more important than anything else, including his career. This realization came with a hard lesson, one that made him recognize that family should always come before work. The emotional and personal growth he experienced during this period has profoundly influenced his outlook on life and relationships. Sharing wisdom with his daughters. Stallone's personal experiences have not only shaped his own life, but also influenced the way he imparts wisdom to his children. His advice to his daughters reflects his own journey and the lessons he has learned along the way. Sophia Stallone, his eldest daughter, has shared insights into the kind of guidance her father provides. On the podcast Unwaxed, Sophia revealed that her father often advises her to prioritize happiness and true compatibility in relationships over simply meeting societal expectations or rushing into something. According to Sophia, Stallone's advice is about looking for genuine connection and joy rather than just ticking off milestones or following a timeline. This perspective highlights Stallone's understanding of the complexities of relationships 
and his desire for his daughters to make choices that lead to real fulfillment. His guidance is seen as thoughtful and profound, reflecting his deep understanding of what truly matters in love and life. Stallone's insights have been described as Shakespearean by his daughters, emphasizing the depth and wisdom of his advice on matters of the heart. This portrayal of Stallone as a wise father figure is not just about his advice, but also about the way he approaches relationships and personal growth. His experiences and the lessons he has learned have made him a valuable source of guidance for his children. Despite his public dedication to his three daughters and his two older sons, C.R. Joe and the late Sage Stallone, Stallone has openly expressed regret over not being more present in their lives. Reflecting on his past priorities, he admitted in a 2022 interview with The Times that his intense focus on his career led him to overlook important moments with his children. Stallone confessed that he was so absorbed in his work that he missed out on crucial aspects of his children's upbringing. This regret has led Stallone to seek a deeper connection with his children now that he has more time to focus on them. He shared a poignant moment when his children started opening up to him more, revealing their thoughts and feelings. This new level of communication was significant for Stallone, who had previously struggled with balancing his career and family life. The simple yet profound experience of his children telling him they were thinking about him marked a turning point in their relationship and underscored the importance of being present for loved ones. Stallone's personal struggles with fatherhood and his career have also found their way into his creative work. One notable example is the film Rocky V, in which his son, Sage Stallone, played Rocky Balboa's son. The movie portrayed a strained father-son relationship, mirroring aspects of Stallone's own experiences. In the Netflix documentary Sly, Stallone revealed that he used the film to explore themes of regret and redemption. He admitted that the film was an attempt to address some of the personal issues he faced but couldn't resolve in real life. Stallone acknowledged that, unfortunately, he had placed his career before his family, leading to significant and sometimes devastating repercussions. Through Rocky V, he was able to express his feelings of regret and the desire for redemption in a way that resonated with audiences. The film became a vehicle for exploring the complex emotions and challenges of fatherhood, allowing Stallone to confront and process his own experiences. Exploring Sylvester Stallone's journey reveals a complex narrative of both triumph and tribulation. His career achievements are well documented, from his iconic roles in Rocky and Rambo to his influence on the action genre. However, his personal struggles highlight the price of success and the challenges of balancing career ambitions with family responsibilities. Stallone's story is a reminder that success often comes at a cost, and the pursuit of dreams can sometimes overshadow the most important relationships in life. His experiences teach us valuable lessons about the importance of prioritizing family and personal connections, even in the face of career pressures and public expectations. Stallone's journey, both on and off the screen, offers a poignant reflection on the complexities of life and the importance of addressing personal challenges with honesty and courage. His experiences and insights serve as a testament to the enduring value of love, family, and personal growth. What lessons can we learn from Stallone's experiences? How can his story inspire us to balance our own ambitions with the relationships that matter most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more compelling insights into the lives of iconic figures like Sylvester Stallone, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. See you next time.